Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Thanks for tuning in for another episode. I am excited to share with you today a new bait that is extremely versatile. And you know how much I love versatile baits because, well, for one, it saves me money because it therefore limits how much tackle I need to purchase. And two, it limits how much tackle I need to carry with me. And therefore, I really like versatile baits. So I'm excited to share this one with you. Before I do get into this though, I do want to remind you guys that if you're looking for a little bit of help on a lake you may have been struggling on or going to for a vacation, check out the lake breakdowns that I do for fishthemoment.com. The link is in my video description. We give you 40 waypoints on multiple different areas throughout the lake based on that time of year and the patterns you should be using. It's a great way to help you catch a few extra fish next time you head out on that body of water. And guys, a bait like this is one that you might want to think about bringing because of the versatility of it. So let's get into this. This is a bait I've been playing around with for the last couple months, and I've had really good success in a lot of different ways of trying it. And that bait here is the new Berkeley Crash Craw. This little guy is a, well, he comes in different sizes. This is the three and a half inch size. It comes in a four and a half inch size as well. But it's, it's a bait that's kind of built for pitching mats and heavy cover because of the profile on it. Nice, sleek profile. It's got that beaver-shaped body. And then it's got a real subtle kicking leg. So these kicking legs will come through that thick cover really well because they're just nice, narrow legs. But you get really good flapping motion out of it. And I'll make sure to put in throughout the video some different uh, video of the bait being used so you can see how it looks. But it is a very, very good bait. And like I said, it's kind of been developed for punching heavier cover. But here's the thing, it's not just great for punching cover. I have come up with so many different ways that I've had success using it that I'm really excited about this bait. You know, one of them is to rig it just on a little Ned head. This is just the uh, Berkeley half head right here. So you use it as a Ned. It's just a very finesse style profile. It's got that craw kind of profile, but it doesn't have that much kick where it becomes just overbearing. It's just a very light waving action that really does a good job at, from a finesse standpoint. So I've had a lot of good luck fishing it on a small jig head as a Ned rig. Obviously, if it's a punch bait, I've had really good success using it just as a Texas rig. Uh, I like to, if I can get away with it, I like to leave my Texas rig unpegged because of the shape of this bait. When it comes through the water it, and, and separates from the weight, it really glides very nicely. It's got that flat body, and because the legs are not super heavy kicking legs, it allows the bait to continue to glide. So if I can get away with rigging it with an unpegged weight, I'll do it. If the cover's too heavy, then I'll go ahead and peg the weight. But obviously, as a Texas rig, it's a phenomenal bait. Another way I've been really enjoying fishing it is just on your on your wobble head. A wobble head like this guy right here, if I can hold it, is a really good way to fish it. You know, this, this bait kind of fits into that um, zoom speed craw, the menace category. You know, it's just one of those baits that really, because of its shape and profile, is a very versatile bait. So you can rig it on a wobble head just perfectly well and crank it through the bottom at a nice slow pace like you would a crankbait so it allows you to get it down to much deeper depths it allows you to cover a ton of water with it you know it's just a wobble head is a great tool for covering water and a bait such as this crash craw is one that will give you the correct profile for your wobble heads so that's a third way that i really like to fish it the next way is going to be as a jig trailer you know, you guys know how much I love the small three inch Berkeley Pit Boss is my jig trailers and is a trailer of choice. This guy's gonna give that Pit Boss for a run for the money as a trailer. Uh, you know, it's still got that small profile, so it's a three and a half inch bait and it's gonna fit a jig. You know, this is a Luke Clausen compact pitching jig, so it's a compact jig. It's a much smaller profile and you can see that trailer is not overbearing by any means. It fits it perfectly. I've had really good uh, success using it as a jig trailer. And again, one of the things that I've been experimenting a lot with lately on my jigs is trying to get my jigs to glide some. And a lot of that comes down to using a trailer that's got a flat bottom. So if you pair a lighter jig, like a quarter ounce 
Luke Lawson compact pitching jig with a three and a half inch crash craw, crash craw, you're gonna get a nice gliding motion out of your jig as well on the fall, which is a different presentation that you'd get normally if you're pitching wood or pitching grass. So I really do enjoy it on a jig as a trailer. I have not experimented it with much on like a chatterbait trailer or a swim jig trailer, but I have a feeling that it'll work really well on that or those as well. And last but not least is the fish it on a Carolina rig. I don't have one here down me down here with me, but you know you get the idea of it if you got your Carolina rig weight here, the unweighted bait, just like if I'm throwing an unpegged Texas rig, this bait is just gonna glide through the water really well. And the key here again goes back to the legs. The legs are very much not overpowering in terms of flapper legs. They catch enough water to create good motion flow but not enough to, to create drag on that bait to prevent it from gliding forward. So as a Carolina rig, I've had really good success, especially up here in the North Country on some smallmouth. Uh, they seem to really enjoy these in the uh, more natural craw colors. But guys, I really think you might want to check out the Crash Craw by Berkeley. It's a very good profile that is a uh, bait that you're going to be able to use for a lot of different techniques. These are the these are the ways that I've had really good success so far But I imagine there's a bunch of other good ones out there So if you have a few to share with us I would love to hear from you guys as well so that I can give those techniques a try But I think you're really going to want to try these crash craws because of the versatility of them It's kind of tough to say crash craw uh, Anyways guys Thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Check those out. I'm telling you, you catch a few extra fish with them. And uh, stay tuned. We'll have another video coming out tomorrow.